back folks thanks for sticking around with us this far so I'm gonna continue where we left off and I'm gonna double up this baseline with some Rob Papp and go to synth off the Explorer bundle definitely my go-to for a lot of things man if you haven't checked out that bundle really cool check it out just thickening it up a little bit you know what I mean Adding some butter to the toast. Putting some jelly on the PB, you know what I'm saying? Adding a little bit of cheese to the pizza. You know. But, time for some drums. That's right. Time for some drums. So, thank God for Spectrosonics, man. They got so many good things. I use all their stuff. And this wouldn't be a song without some stylus. Gonna put it in double time. So since the remember the BPM is kind of slow at 60, so doubling it up at 120 should give it a nice little feel. Kind of got like that, that early 90s like Matrix soundtrack kind of feel to it. And we're going to keep the tempo of the da. So I'm going to do probably like a fade in right here. Start to fade it in a few bars before that, then we'll have it kick in. Throw on the utility, select our gain, highlight what we want to fade in, get this little, the little yellow line, bam! Perfect fades. I'm gonna fade them in, boss! I ain't talking about no barbershop! And you might have noticed in part two that I uh, I could have just put the effect tricks on the stutter bus, but since I'm sending the drums to the stutter bus, then that that gate would have been on the drums, and we don't want that. So for those of you willing to get ready to call me out on that one, this is why I didn't do it. This is why I put it on every channel like a dummy, wasted all that processing power. I could have just made another bus and the effect tricks on that bus for it but eh water into the bridge right so yeah we got one stylus going to the stutter bus the other stylus I'm gonna send it to the mains and we're gonna do some stuff with it so let me turn it down here real quick so I got two drums the same drums but doing different things to each one this one I'm gonna add a little bit of delay I may or may not keep it for right now. I'm just kind of like, let's see how it sounds. You know what I mean? What's it sound like, man? Personally, definitely got to turn it down. I know you feel me on that. A little heavy in the echoes. Let's try some repeating digits. See if it works. So a little bit of an echo there. God, this guy and his repeating digits. What's wrong with him? Yeah, I know. I know, man. I know. I got like eight. I got I got OCD or something, bro. And, and, and you know, it doesn't help that my ADHD adds on to it, bro. Sounding a little smoother. Now that we got some drums on it. But I'm gonna add some more pizzazz to the drums. Right there. Oh, put it on the wrong track. My bad. I gotta put it on the one that's not going to the starter bus. So we got one going to the starter bus, one going to Looperator for some nice glitch effects. And 
I'm gonna use the loop raider to kind of like switch it up, you know what I mean? Since it's just a loop repeating. What I'm gonna do is just take some of these presets, drop them in to these empty little slots you see right here, and we're gonna use the loop raider as a MIDI control effect. Kind of how we did the stutter edit earlier, so that we can make it less loopy. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, instead of just duping a bunch of loops, duping a loop over and over. That way it changes it up. And I'm just gonna kinda like randomly place presets everywhere here. And each one is gonna be assigned to a little key, which is where you can see that C O, C sharp O, D O. And when I play that key, you're gonna get that preset changing it up. So I'm just randomly placing them, you know, using some of this uh, quantum chaos. Gotta throw in some quantum chaos, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no refractal song unless you got some quantum chaos. Quantum chaos is your friends, kids. Don't forget it. Not everything is orderly and controlled. Sometimes you gotta just see what happens. So then we're gonna make a MIDI track to control the looperator right here. Assign it to it. That's how you do it. Record on it so we can play it. And then... Let me see, where do we start? Start at C0. We go all the way down to... A sharp, you know, I think we could throw a little bit more though. Let's get some more presets up in here. A few more presets in here. Let's switch it up, do some stutters. You know, and like I said, this is just picking whatever comes to my fingers, letting the mouse do the work. And that should be good. Okay, so like A0 to C1 is where my MIDI notes are. I'm going to create a empty MIDI zone here. I believe it's Shift Command M if you're on a Mac. Control Shift M if you're on the Windows, um, and we're just gonna make some some notes here. I'm gonna keep them less than one bar. That way, like the presets will switch up every three quarters of a bar, and we're just gonna randomly place notes once again using some of that quantum chaos theory. See what happens. Now we can always go back here and edit them up if we don't like it. But a lot of writing music for me is just like experimenting. See what happens, you know, some scientific method stuff. Can't be afraid to try and fail, right? Sometimes it's good. Sometimes, sometimes you get a sunny day. Sometimes it rains. Either way, we always ready for snow. Uh, An Eskimo once told me that. Uh, but you know what? That, that, that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I'm just going to lower the wet to dry here a little bit. Bring it right down to the middle. You can see them presets switching up. And we're gonna need a little bit of some compressors, some compression. Bring out them effects. And I got just the tools for the job. Them uh, Fairchild. Them UAD power plugs, kid. Hey, that's not fair. How come I don't have that? Well, you know, not everything is fair, children. I'm just gonna mess with the threshold here. Get a good amount of gain reduction on it. Uh, set a good attack release. Uh, I like it. Alright, better. So that, the, the fair trial is pretty good for fattening it up. I'm gonna add a glue, maybe, just to see if we can stick it all together. And never mind, don't like it. So let's see what else what else we got. Um supercharger. I'm gonna throw a supercharger here, which is like a compressor, but it adds the benefit of also giving you a bit of saturation. Uh to fatten some stuff up. And I'm just gonna mess around with the settings till we can really bring those effects out here. Ooh. Crunchy. Nice and crunchy. Oh, too crunchy. That's too crunchy, boss. Cutting up the roof of my mouth with them Captain Crunches. Alright, there we go. That's a little better. Mm, try some mid side versus stereo. I think I like the stereo better, so. Alright. That's pretty good right there. I dig it. Let's see what some delay sounds like on the other 
drum channel. I don't know. I might actually just get rid of the delays right now. They're really like cluttering stuff up, but we'll wait on that. For now, I need to start adding to the rest of this song. So we're going to copy over these, uh, these bass parts that we made earlier with that 55.5. So we have that fade in, so it's going to kick in right after the fade. We'll bring that bass back in. And at this point, it's just like more like a background uh, thickening of the song than a, actually adding any, you know, melody or anything. Besides, we got, you know, we got the trilling and the go-to for, for the other bass. So we're good on that. Um, I need to start adding in the rest of these, um, the rest of these frequencies. I've got a bunch of blank space here, so... Let me work on that here for a little bit. And then this is actually like the, the the cool like core of the song, I think, is the fact that all these frequencies sound good together. And really it's like, it breaks down into like harmonics, you know, because really they're all like the 111 frequency, the 222 is a harmonic, the 333 is a harmonic of that. It's a, you know, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit just to, just to not bore you all too much, but that's the interesting part of this song is all these notes right here that they're uh, they're harmonically placed and they're gonna sound good so you know enjoy your menudos for all you hungover people your harmony or uh, pozole in Spanish pozole so you call me Kind of like corn nut, but soft. All right, so I'm gonna move the uh, position of the stutter out of here so that when it comes back in, it will affect the drums right where I want them. And that should be good. So uh, I want everything to continue on to the three minute point, which is where those uh, ticking clocks end. The uh, part two, like where you saw the fractal time wave quantum arcade, um, everything stops at the three minute point. So I'm gonna duplicate these right up to that point in there. And yeah, maybe, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, the bass is gonna drop at three minutes. So we're gonna take that off. And I'm gonna duplicate all the drums over to the three minute mark. But, oh, that's right. I have a fade in, so I don't want to. I don't want to duplicate the fade in. I only want to duplicate what's already set in volume how I want it. Take out these last two and add the looperator. But I'm gonna another cool Ableton tool here for MIDI is you can reverse sequence of MIDI notes that you've set so I'm gonna reverse it kind of do like a mirror image like a reflection in the middle of the song there and let's see I'm gonna have the loop rater kick in after the fade in I don't I don't want it to be on during the fade in so I'll just have it automated to jump in after those two bars or after the first two sequences there mm. there we go so everything drops right there at the three minute mark at which point I will add in something else there we go so it kind of drops back into like a like a real soft breakdown he's having a mental breakdown oh no Sweet. Alright. Well, thanks for sticking around with us thus far. More than halfway there. And we'll bring the rest of you coming up soon. Stay tuned.